Caitlin and um, Jay Chemistry? Sure, what do you want to know? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty obvious from the start. Uh, he's great. I mean, Teddy's such a nice addition to our show. Jesse said very early on that, like, oh, you feel like you belong here. Like, it feels like you've been here all along. He's, um, he's wonderful. And, like, how funny were they? Oh, God, I really love the scene when he comes in wearing a uh, very sweatshirt. And Carl's like, that's a lot smaller on you. Uh, don't tell Grant I said that. <laughs> uh, it, you know, he's great. And, He's, you know, as Caitlin says, a fellow science nerd, so she connects with him on that level. Um, yeah, it's exciting to have him around. Do, do you feel that Caitlin might have moved on from Ronnie a bit fast? Um, I've talked extensively about the writers, with, about that with the writers, and you know, the sort of feeling is, is that during season one, she grieved him a lot, and we got to see that. Um, and this go around, you know, there's been a huge period of time that's transpired. Um, you know, over the summer, and she's dealt with this loss before, so she's, you know, unfortunately maybe a little bit practiced at the grieving, and she's dealing with it a different way this time, um, hopefully. As an actor, is that a gratifying process to be able to kind of express that differently and not feel like you're stuck in that same zone? Totally. I'm so grateful to the writers. They've given me so much different, awesome material to play with over season one and now season two, so, you know, it certainly doesn't feel like it's the same thing second verse. Well, it seems like Caitlin is attracted to guys who are both, A, extremely smart, and B, have superpowers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you? <laughs> Be honest. What, what do you feel like she looks for in a partner? Just because we're starting to see her flirt with Jay, but there are still so many fans out there who think that she's destined to be with Barry. It's funny. I don't know. I mean, look, maybe I need to re-watch episode two. I don't know if she's, like, consciously flirting with them, with him. I think it's, you know, sort of a natural chemistry that they have and that, you know, they speak the same, the same technology language and that sort of thing. Um, as for her, I mean... Look at Teddy and look at Robbie. Like, <laughs> come on. I have the easiest job in the world. <laughs> <laughs> and for all those Snowberry fans out there who are still clinging on for life, like, do you feel like Caitlin even looks at Barry like that? Or is it more of just like a um, best friendy thing? I don't know. Um, I think, as I've always said, like, look, hopefully we have many seasons to play out lots of relationships on this show. So, we'll um, Caitlin also... Uh, <laughs> at the end of next week's episode. Can you yeah. talk a little bit about the development of their relationship uh, going forward? Well, it's early days, um, certainly, but Caitlin being a scientist, Jay being a scientist, they, and Jay having no powers, they, they start to spend some time together sort of working on scientific stuff. And there's <laughs> a comfort there. There's, there's certainly sort of a, a burgeoning... Um, uh, Relationship is not the word I want to use, but um, but a burgeoning. Uh, <laughs> God, I mean, what, what word do you use if you're not use relationship? Uh, not in that <laughs> sense, but uh, what would you say? Flirtation. Or... Well, yeah, it's sort of less, but you don't. It's less flirty. There's there, there's there's some chemistry there, sure. And like I said, it's early days, and I don't yet know where it's going because we've we've done some stuff we haven't done too much. But it's definitely safe to say that they're comfortable around each other. Um, that uh, we'll see them spending a little bit more time together in their sort of, you know, Star Labs business stuff. We 